points. How to account for it all? At the moment, the Florida governor's woes seem to be from a variety of factors, including one, he hasn't actually yet announced that he's running for president, which, according to some of his allies, has led to the, quote, creeping national narrative that former President Donald Trump is the overwhelming front runner for the 2024 GOP nomination. That's true. The longer the longer he's waited, uh, the more it is just kind of. The more the odds are just not in his favor, the less time he has to really make up for anything. You know, the bobblehead shit he's doing. Number two, he hasn't really responded to Trump's nearly daily barrage of attacks, which have seen the ex-president hammer him on his record on Medicare and Social Security, suggest he had inappropriate relationships with high school girls while working as a teacher, claims that DeSantis cried while begging him for a gubernatorial endorsement in 2018 and insists that he would be working at a pizza hut if it wasn't for the former president. I mean, that's pretty brutal, man. Like this dude, Donald Trump, is just coming after this, coming after Ron DeSantis' manhood. He's coming after everything. You know what I'm saying? And Ron's just kind of like, eh, eh. And oh, this list is long. Oh, okay. On to, and the, these first two are strong, so let's keep going. He refuses to give up his extremely stupid fight with Walt Disney, which resulted in Mouse Town suing him last month. Indeed. That is another thing that's really hurting him, uh, including with Republicans. One, because it's kind of antithetical to what the Republican Party's agenda is, which is, you know, not just capitalism, but, you know, even deeper being on the side of corporations, which is what the Republican establishment and the Democratic establishment is, is about, but especially the Republican Party. But also he's not winning, so he, he's not making them look good. Next, he signed a hugely restrictive six week abortion ban that has reportedly even given GOP mega donor Ken Griffin pause. That's another thing, but it, it, just in terms of like his general popularity with the broader public. He's obsessed with attacking the LGBTQ community. Yes, indeed, he is. He's literally ruined people's lives for political purposes. Well, I mean, we, in terms of the voting restrictions, but we're not going to dive into whatever that else one is. Another, no one believes him when he says he's never eaten pudding using three fingers as a spoon. And the next, he's just kind of an asshole. Well, I, hey, I mean, that that's a, that's a pretty strong list. Now let's continue. Now, many people may reasonably respond that to that last point by noting that Trump is an infamous asshole and that it doesn't really make sense that DeSantis would lose ground to him by being a jerk. Well, there's a difference. There is a difference because there's a. Di Ron DeSantis has no charisma. He has no like, it, you know, yes, Donald Trump's an asshole, but he's charismatic. He's funny. And he he does things in such a way that he like directs attacks at the right people for the base. Ron DeSantis just kind of comes off like a guy that just doesn't really deal with people. Oh, my boy, Kyle in the building. You know what I'm saying? Ron DeSantis, uh, rather, you know, comes off just as a guy who has a lack of people skills and he's not nice to be around, you know, whereas Trump, again, Trump's entertaining. Ron DeSantis is not entertaining and that does make a difference. OK, and we agree it doesn't. And yet, for some reason, people think the Florida governor is an even bigger prick, quote, if you're going to go into politics, kind of a fundamental skill that you should have is likability. I don't think he has that. The former GOP representative David Trott told Politico last month, quote, he never developed any relationships with other members that I know of. You never see him talking on the floor with other people or palling around. He's just a very arrogant guy focused on Ron DeSantis. I think he's an asshole. I don't think he cares about people. <laughs> well, I Obviously, again, Trump doesn't either, but his presentation is different. Okay, so here we go. Here's some video. Has the NRA donated to me? I, I don't think the NRA is quite the boogeyman the Democrats think it is. Do we hit him on guns or does everyone who cares about guns Everybody, is going to vote for me? Is there any issue upon which you disagree with President Trump? 
Obviously there is because I've <laughs> I mean, I voted contrary yo, to him in the time. Most, is he, yo, if he's really like this most of the time, <laughs> look at him. Disagree with President Trump? Obviously there is because I've, I mean, I've voted contrary to him in the time. I have to frame it in a way it's not going to piss off all his voters. So what I do is I do what I think is right. I support um, his agenda in terms of what he's been able to do. If I have a disagreement, I talk to him in private. I think when you walk up there, if you have a pad, you have to write in all caps at the top of the pad, like a look. And then look, I, I do the same thing because I have the same personality. We're both aggressive. <laughs> Yo, that's funny as hell. He's just like, he's just brutally like, and again, like even... Like even when he's the only and the only time I really can recall, the only time you really see Ron DeSantis is like when he's on stage talking to the press. But other than that, like you really don't see any clips of him interacting with people or again, just demonstrating that he has any any personality. You know what I'm saying? So this kind of seems to be more of what he's like when the cameras are off. So DeSantis, quote, better than Trump for president. But he's a really weak option. Wall Street turns away from Florida Governor. <clears throat> Although Wall Street considers Florida Governor Ron DeSantis a superior option to Donald Trump as a Republican presidential candidate, financial experts view him as a weak contender. DeSantis was considered a top pick by bankers, attorneys, and political consultants interviewed by Politico. But his recent missteps have caused donors to spread their money around to candidates of both parties. Dave Carney, a veteran Republican strategist for both former uh, Bush president, said, quote, people will change horses. Quote, you may get really excited about somebody and then all of a sudden realize, eh, not really my cup of tea. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that happens in the real world all the time, for sure. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Think about like how many people, people you may have dated. And at first you thought like, oh, this this may go well. And then you just, I mean, things may not necessarily have went terrible. It was just like, eh, nah, I don't really, this isn't really doing it for me. As Trump gains more popularity in the polls after being charged with criminal offenses related to hush money payments, a New York bank executive expressed doubts about DeSantis' chances of winning. Quote, DeSantis is certainly a better option than Trump at this point, <clears throat> but he's a really weak option. <clears throat> Financial industry executives are among the biggest donors in presidential elections. Indeed, they are that. And they generally favor lower taxes and lighter touch regulation, but also value stability and experience. Although DeSantis was seen as a potential candidate to secure Wall Street support, his several gaffes, including his personal demeanor and snacking habits, have led to a decline in popularity. Even if DeSantis manages to win significant support from the financial industry, he could still face a problem as some executives are skeptical that contributing money to the Florida governor's campaign might allow Trump to label him as a puppet of Wall Street. Quote, we know everyone other than Trump isn't. <laughs> we know everyone hates us and that nobody running for president wants to be seen as the Wall Street candidate, said the first executive at, uh, at the law, uh, large New York bank.